To get your water, all that you need to do is come to the Neon Volunteer Fire Department, fill out your first and last name along with the 911 address, and you'll be able to pick up three gallons of water per household. Officials say it is also important to have a safety kit like this one in your car during the winter months that has a blanket, jumper cables, and some other items just in case of an emergency. The highway officials came up with numerous options, but eventually narrowed it down to two. Nearly 3,000 customers in Leslie County are going to have to find another way to stay warm tonight. More than five hours later, they finally came up with a verdict, and Dennis Jackson is guilty. This stuff is hard to come by right now, and everyone who uses the neon water supply is being affected. This morning, I had water when I got up, and uh, but it was the pressure was real low. I haven't been out uh, but one day, but some of the others that maybe live up higher than I do uh, have been out here for about two days. Officials say they don't know what is causing the shortage, but the division of water is at the plant trying to fix it. We're looking at a secondary source right now uh, that we can go ahead and put in the live wells and, and get them straightened out. Ward says doing this should clean out the system. They will have water in their homes, but it, it, it won't be drinkable water. So we're still going to supply drinking water to everyone. To get your water, all that you need to do is come to the Neon Volunteer Fire Department, fill out your first and last name along with the 911 address, and you'll be able to pick up three gallons of water per household. We will do everything we can to have water there to, for at least each household to get three gallons of water per day until we get this solved. The fire department will continue to give out water to those who need it. Tuesday was the day to bring down the house. It was a surprise. I was hoping it wouldn't happen, but it did. The Pennington house started the day as a shell with everything salvageable already taken out and ended the day as a pile of debris. London local Chris Forbes, who used to play at the house as a kid, was sad to see it go. My heart kind of started, it kind of dropped a little bit. I was like, oh, it's it's reality because there's been talk about it, but we didn't know it was this soon. The demolishing company started from the back of the house and worked their way to the front, taking out the large chimneys in between. It's kind of weird seeing nothing there all the years it's been there. A London landmark is officially gone. In Laurel County, Samantha Saracino, WYMT 57 Mountain News. Most kids are used to playing on swing sets like this one. But one breath of county boy gets to play on this every day. This is Ethan Riley Davis, a pirate lover who now has his very own pirate ship, thanks to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And whenever he seen it, it was priceless. I mean, his face lit up and he was excited. It was his slides. That's all he worried about was his slides. My boat. It's equipped with a plank, slides, <laughs> swings, and an indoor hideout. While you wouldn't be able to tell by looking at him, Ethan has a genetic condition called San Filippo. There is no treatment, no cure. Most of them only live to the 13, and um, it causes them eventually to have to be put on um, feeding tubes, wheelchairs, stuff like that. Ethan's mom says it is hard not to think about, but says she is thankful for the pirate ship and the happiness and memories it has brought oh, to her son. Funny. In Breathitt County, Samantha Saracino, WYMT 57 Mountain News. This all took place on Friday, and luckily a guard was at the mine when it happened and allegedly caught the three men in the act. The surveillance video was shown here on WYMT, and a short time later, an arrest was made.